Hi guys, so as I'm sure you're probably already aware, I absolutely love 3D printing. Um, it's like being a kid in a toy shop, you can basically make whatever you want to whatever size you want and it's just awesome. So I've got quite a few printers, uh, but I was recently sent this little fella, and I say little because it, it is, it's Diddy. Um, obviously you pick it up with one hand, it fits nicely on my desk, um, and yeah, it's a lovely little sort of starter size. Um, so I'm going to have a little go at this one, this is the uh, King Rune. Um, I don't know if it's a model number, but I will uh, I'm gonna go through the sort of description of this, this little printer in a minute. Um, but yeah, it is so cool because like I say, I can set this up on my desk and do a bit of printing with it. So it, it comes with some um, a little spool of, of this stuff, um, but I've got some funky coloured stuff that I'm going to have a go at doing sort of some test prints and some bits and pieces. So yeah, let's crack on. Um, I say, is, is it a setup? There's only a few little bits you need to screw together. I'm not going to go through them because hey, it, it literally is a few bits to go together. Um, yeah, we're going to print off some uh, some bits and see how it goes. So yeah, let's uh, let's plug this thing in and well, plug and play. Okay, so let's get straight into some of the details you want to know. Uh, let's start off with the price. So if you go on the uh, the link, it'll come up and say it's two hundred nine dollars, which as you can see is already a reduced price. But if you use, use my coupon code down below. Um, it's BF3P, all caps, you get another $20 off, which is pretty cool. So it comes out about $189, or today's exchange rate it's about about £155, which, uh, which ain't too bad. And the quality of the prints is pretty cool. So you'll, you'll see the prints that I've, uh, I've done coming up soon, of uh, the Space Hulk. But uh, yeah, lovely little printer, I say, lovely little size. It's uh, pretty much assembled. It takes about 10 minutes to put sort of the arm in and level the bed, which is cool. Um, very silent printing as well on this thing, it doesn't make a lot of noise. And the other good thing is, if there's a power cut or anything happens, um, it will resume printing. So you can turn the thing off and then it will carry on from where it left off, which is another bonus. Um, I say, yeah, just really easy to put together. As you can see, it's got these little uh, wheelie bits that you put your, um, your spindle thingy on. As you can see, I know all the technical terms, guys, and that's why this isn't an unboxing assembly kind of video. This is more of a, well, me using it video, uh, because yeah, I don't know technical terms. But um, yeah, it's a lovely little printer. Um, if you're looking to get into 3D printing, yeah, I would certainly recommend getting this little fella, because say it's so small as well, which if anyone knows or watches a lot of my videos, they will hear me say quite a lot that I don't have a lot of room in my, uh, well, in my home, uh, my little flat. So yeah, having something small like this is just perfect, because it really can fit on a, well, small little table. As I say, I've got a few of these uh, these types of 3D printers, and the other ones have taken quite a while to sort of like put together and set up. Uh, but yeah, this really was a case of within 10 minutes of getting this out of the box, I was printing, which is really cool. And talking of printing, so I wanted to sort of tr test something out on this, and I wanted to do kind of like a, a Space Hulk diorama. So I've gone over to Dragon's Rest and the Precinct Umbra. You might have seen me use this or parts of this sort of set on my chessboard. Uh, so yeah, the Warhammer 40k chess set, I got the pieces from here. So there's a link in the description, guys. Go check them out. Say tons and tons of sort of Space Hulk looking sort of bits and pieces, which is pretty awesome. So yeah, you just got to stick it on a little mini USB, plug it in, push a couple of buttons, and yeah, away she pops. Um, so I've had a go at trying to do like a time-lapse video. Uh, I use my little GoPro, so that's why the quality isn't the best. Uh, but you can see what's going on. So the only, the only sort of downside I see to these type of printers over resin ones, uh, and that's the time it takes to print, which is why I do love my resin printer, it's so much quicker. Um, so I was printing these out, I was printing these out actually at very low res. Uh, I think 0.2 is like your normal sort of um, definition, and I think I was doing mine at 0.4, so twice as quick, and to be honest, the quality, uh, yeah, I thought the quality was fine, uh, say for what I was printing anyway. Uh, but again, you wouldn't really use this to print out a small miniature. Um, I mean, you could do if you knew what you were doing with the settings, but um, yeah, I don't. So yeah, so this was done at the very sort of, well, it wasn't even a low setting, this was a poor setting. Uh, but the piece still came out really, really nice, really pleased with it. And yeah, so it's a case of obviously printing some more panels and bits and pieces to make my little Space Hulk diorama. So as you saw, the um, filament that I was using was a multicoloured one. Uh, which is pretty funny, so obviously every piece that came out, it started changing colour from the previous one, uh, which I thought was quite cool. Obviously I'm going to paint the thing, because obviously this sort of nice rainbow colour doesn't really suit well for a derelict spaceship that's meant to be a little bit creepy and scary. Uh, but my kids thought it was fun though, when these pieces came out and they were all different colours. 
So if you are looking at getting your first 3D printer, guys, yeah, I, I would recommend this one. As I say, it's a nice small one. So it's, it's the size that I like. Plus the actual bed that you print things on is still reasonably big, which is pretty cool. And so there's a coupon code down below to get another $20 off. I'm not sure how long the coupon code will last. Um, so yeah, you might want to get in there quick just in case it does have an expiry date. And there we go. So here's my multicolored Space Hulk uh, little diorama set, uh, which is pretty cool. So the reason of obviously having the, um, the bits at the bottom and the top with the gaps is because I want to be able to sort of shine lights through it just to give it like an eerie effect. And my little spoke machine. Unfortunately, it's not working at the moment, so I need to get that fixed. Uh, but yeah, I was going to use that as well. And as you can see, I, well, I love magnets now. I think they're, they're awesome things. Just so you can put things together, uh, but obviously then still take them apart. So this is for obviously the top part, because I want to make it so that I can sort of add bits and put things in the bottom, but still put a top on. And here's those lovely bases that I normally throw away, because obviously I don't use these bases in my miniatures. Uh, but I'm getting to use them now, as I'm making sort of little feet out of them, or little razors, uh, or risers even. Just so they can go underneath this thing, again, to lift it off the ground, just so I can put lights underneath. And the other thing I want to do is obviously use my little fog machine, or smoke machine, and have that sort of coming up from below. Which, again, will make some real cool pictures. Um, so, yeah, so this, this little beast really is like, a, well, it was a test print, really, to see how this thing coped. And because I wanted something that I could use to sort of take pictures of my, uh, my painted little figures. And, yeah, I do like the sort of Space Hulk look. So, painting-wise, uh, fairly simple for this. It is just going to be some dry brushing, as you can see, with some silver. Uh, and then once that's all dried, I then go over and do some dry brushing with some sort of bronze. Um, and again, I just, I just love this sort of simple effect, but it makes it look like it's metal, but it looks, makes it look like it's sort of almost aged as well. Uh, it's not obviously rusty, but it's certainly, uh, it's certainly seen better days, and it's not as cre uh, clean and crisp as it once was. So these floor panels were just crying out to be turned into the old sort of warning hazard chevron sort of look. Um, so yeah, just simply painting them yellow, uh, kind of like dabbing it, just so that some areas look sort of more yellow than others. Just to give it, again, the old worn look. And then the rest of the bit I painted black. Um, yeah, please with that came out. So keeping it nice and simple. And there was a little light at the back. So obviously these lights I'm going to sort of have underneath. Just again, give it a bit of a, an effect. But there was like a little light at the back. So I'm just going to chop that off. Um, I was going to paint it sort of red. So it looked like it was a light. Uh, and then I thought, no, I might as well just cut the thing off. Drill a hole. And then I can poke part of the, uh, the little LED light through. So it can be at the back. And then obviously then the rest of the LEDs will be underneath. As I say, this isn't going to be used for any sort of games. This is purely a little sort of diorama setting just for me to sort of take shots with. So I wanted to add a little highlight um, glow at the back. And that was just a case of simply dabbing with some white, a bit of dry brushing, and then dry brushing with some red. Um, and yeah, so it looks great. You put the little light through, turn it on, and it does look, uh, obviously it, it lights up really well, but it does look like there is sort of the, uh, the shadow cast by it as well, which is pretty cool. So, so we will untangle these a bit more, so they go underneath a lot better. But um, yeah, nice and simple, nice and sweet. Uh, so yeah, great little printer. It didn't take too long printing these bits off. Um, so I did them at a low res, and they're relatively thin, as you can see. But um, yeah, very pleased with the result. And you'll certainly see this in some upcoming videos. Um, yeah, this is a great way of taking some shots of uh, my painted miniatures. Um, yeah. Lovely. So it's just a shame though, my smoke machine isn't working uh, because that would have filled this little thing really, really well. So I was going to be looking at changing my smoke machine and the fact it doesn't work at the moment means that, yeah, it will be changed. And then, yeah, moving the light above obviously causes different sort of shadow effects again, which is really, really cool. And there we go. So, yeah, the King Ron KP3S little printer. Uh, yeah, highly recommend it. Say so it's a nice little starter one. The fact that it is so easy to get out of the box, get up running. Um, and yeah, away you go. It doesn't take up much room, which is just amazing. And yeah, the print quality, yeah, spot on. Like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.